All right, again, this is a teaser on the PPW YouTube channel, a teaser of the Rancast. So would you be so kind again as to like and subscribe if you happen upon this? And also please support us on Patreon where we have a ton of actual wrestling match content and this podcast that we do every week. What I wanted to bring up, Casey, and it's with myself, old Rockin' Randy and Casey James. What I wanted to bring up, oh, was this. Do you know Bubba Ray, Bully Ray? No. He was gone when you got there. Yeah. To World Wrestling Entertainment. Casey used to work for World Wrestling I might have met him once, but that's it. I worked with him at TNA, at TNA Impact, when I was on Spike, and Rand was the production manager, quote, end quote. And what I want to say is, you know, when you hear the Dudleys, and not Devon so much, but Bubba, he's got a big mouth. He likes to say, uh, command respect, you know, for being in the industry for this long. Well, once again, like I said, when I was in Memphis for the first time in 1989, I was a world class when it closed down. Before that, I locked up with Vern Gagne. Shouldn't Bubba be swinging for my nuts by that same criteria? So, John Moxley. Now, John Moxley was an 18-year-old kid the first or second time I went down to do some business in Puerto Rico. 18-year-old kid in a third world country. Could you give a 30-second preview as to the dangers of actually living on an island as the white guy? Oh, I mean, you know, it's not so bad, but, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely different than living in the States. You just see... uh, a lot more going on, um, you know, there's a couple of times he was woken up to, you know, gunshots and stuff. Which, you used to go to bed to him. I used to call uh, my family and friends. I'd make my calls at night from bed, the roof. Yeah. And they'd be like, what's that noise? I'd be like, oh, don't worry about it. It's the hood two blocks over. They're shooting at each other again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But so also, it's a little rougher. I mean, it's a rougher, you know, society. Yeah. So Moxley... Uh, you know, it's public knowledge. He, he went into treatment to recover from alcoholism, addiction, whichever. I don't need the details. It's all the same thing. Addiction's addiction. And Bubba Ray, Bubba, went out there and he made this big, long dissertation about it on a podcast or an interview that said he didn't like it because Moxley should have apologized to the AEW fans. What's your opinion on that? I don't really have one. I don't know what to... I don't... As someone who's been in recovery for 40 years in the wrestling industry for 35, 36 of that, I say, stay the fuck out of it and wish the guy well. Sure, yeah. I am, I lean towards that. Too. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it. I mean, Bubba probably didn't see it either or watched it once, but you don't know what that guy's feeling, thinking, or what he needs, you know? He's really in no position to speak on that. Yeah, and then Bubba went and broke somebody else's anonymity and said, this guy did it when he came out of treatment, you know what I mean? (laughs) But uh, Bubba is a bully. He is a bully, but he thinks it's funny or comedic. Could he take me in a fight if I ran into him? Because I could run into him and he could say, oh, you said that about me, (laughs) you know? Uh, Let's just put it this way. Could Bubba take me? He's a little younger and he's definitely larger. Probably. But one of the Dudleys spent a shitload of -of out-of-pocket money to get plastic fucking surgery. I don't know for what reason. He never appeared in anything worth a shit. So I think to myself, you really tough guys, don't do that. And Bubba, you might be able to take old Rand, but... You're going to get hurt, so rethink about that plastic surgery that could get fucked up and scarred up and probably will, even if you beat me. He, wait a minute. Bubba Ray Dudley got plastic surgery? He got a shitload of it. Oh, really? Yeah. What, on his face? On his fucking face. Oh, I didn't know that. So, who are some tough guys off the top of your head? Real tough guys. Oh. Legit tough guys. Off the top of my head? From what era? You know, whenever. Okay, Ming. Ming's not going to get plastic surgery. Of course, yeah. You know? Yeah. Ming's not going to get... Danny Trio, 70-something years old. He ain't got no plastic surgery. You're real tough guys. Don't worry about their appearance that much. They're not that vain when it comes down to it, you know? Yeah. 
and that's how the internet fan kind of treats him. And again, I'm going to classify anything he does or says as they should say it's opinion because it's really fake news. I wish Moxley all the, the, the best in the world trying to recover. Yeah, it's an incredibly difficult thing to do. Yes, it is. And be in this industry. That's what or I was going to end with. It's hard yeah. enough, you know, it's hard enough. It is hard enough. So anybody to criticize, just go to hell. When you yeah. talk about respect and integrity, how yeah. much integrity is that? He should have done this. You know, until you walk the mile in somebody else's right, shoes, right. tough guy, shut the fuck up.